Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of cancer. So, um, first of all, for those of you who perhaps, um, the angel of balance and, and I am, okay, th th that could be an angel, but for some of you, you may also sometimes work with, I think it's goddess Mayotte. Um, I'm, that's what I'm hearing right now. Okay. All tied up in appreciation. I feel for me, this card is always like an, it's an, it's a spirit guide ancestor card. I feel like your spiritual team, they're appreciating you. You've probably been all tied up in some type of situation, but you have an angel of balance and an angel of love who have come in. Okay. To ensure that all is well for you at this time. Is today the 15th? Yesterday was the 15th. Okay. So, and I, in, in the last reading I was speaking, I said something could happen within the next eight days. So here's 15 and card number 23, which will be eight. I said something could happen within eight hours or eight days. You guys can go and follow, look at that last reading, but do be patient. And here's card number 16. Today is March 16th. But again, whenever you hear the messages, when you're meant to receive it, here's blossoming abundance. So you've been patiently waiting on some type of abundance, some type of offer or an opportunity to be presented to you or just for all of the blockages to be removed so that you could receive some type of offer. All right. Yeah. You've been stuck for some time in um, this energy of maybe being a little bit indecisive in somewhat of like a stalemate situation because broken heart just fell on the floor. But now here's the six um the sixth chakra, which is the third eye, with deceit. And look at this darkness here. This is this is action being taken. So action is being taken now when it comes to some type of dark energy or entity that has had you at some type of standstill, unable to move forward. Something or someone has had you all tied up. You've been very um, patiently waiting, like I said, for some kind of offer or an opportunity. But it seems like every time there was about to be a breakthrough, you were stuck at a crossroads or this is what someone was doing. Someone could have been calling on um, different entities of some sort to hold you back. But your your eyes are open. Your third eye, there's no, the blockages are being removed around your third eye just in time for you to be able to see the truth. So you're resting. You, you may feel like you're nesting right now. Um, planning to walk through the doors of romance because... You now are no longer attached to your past. Here's a woman holding a coin, happy family journey. So I feel like for a lot of you, you know, of course you think about family, but it's about to be something that's actually tangible for you. There's tangible assets and here's the woman, the man holding a coin. So you're about to go on a journey now where your, your, your spiritual journey is about to unfold here in the 3d for you okay i've been saying a lot of you have been building um your life in the spirit for a long time and things have to be cleared out here in the 3d before you can experience it in the 3d so that it will be protected so this is why certain work is being done there's going to be significant changes between now and like i said maybe the next eight days between um, the 15th and the 23rd, um, the end of Pisces season, moving into Aries season. Significant changes are going to take place. Okay. So there's a cleansing and a clearing out of the final karmic energies that have been here to stall you or to have you in this, this energy um, of just not being blocked. Or delayed so let's just see if you're a divine feminine or masculine trust me everyone is fully aware of who you are they've been watching and monitoring you for a very long time they're they're fully aware of who you are and they know that you're not the person that they want to go against spiritually however it's what they keep doing we have nine nine here and then here's the number nine with the broken heart. So there's a cycle here of being broken hearted of third party interferences and things like that. That is finally over. Okay. I feel like 
God has truly stepped in. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You don't have to be. You could be a Taurus. But for some of you, there is a Hierophant, possibly a Taurus, or someone very religious, or someone um, in the occult. This person could have really wanted, been doing a lot of things in the background to ensure that you were left out of the cold and unable to receive love. This is what's being cleared out of your life. So soon, some of you, you know, within the next eight hours a day something significant is going to happen within the next eight months a lot of you are going to have what i just heard when i said eight 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 like that because in the last reading i was speaking about people have been doing a lot of um rituals spell working and different things to block you since they saw that you were manifesting something of great value and significance maybe during the lion's gate portal of last of last year or maybe even a previous year, there's something that you guys, you've really been manifesting. You know what it is because every single time there's a, a significant portal or transit that opens, there's something that you keep trying to manifest. Someone has, has tapped into your um, Akashic records spiritually or, or been doing some type of you know, unlawful divination spying, but they've also just, these are people in your life who you talk to about your goals and your dreams. There's a snake that has been around you for a long time that does not want you to actually manifest whatever this is. So with eight hours, eight days, a month, there's something that you've been continuously trying to manifest that's going to bring infinite abundance in your life. There's something now that's finally being broken. So that you can experience this the magic look at that the magician yeah something that you've been trying to manifest here and you may have been um a little bit disappointed about whatever this is it's only because of the illusions here five of wands yeah the conflict the chaos the illusions people trying to compete with you a lot of people have really been in your head i'm sure um trying to block your crown chakra your third eye chakra so that you won't remember who you are and what it is that you truly want. Six of Pentacles. You reap what you sow, though. All right. Yeah. The tower is here with the world card. Divine intervention is taking place. Something gets being cleared away. The world to me is you're closing out a cycle and you're actually elevating and evolving here. The magician, the six of cups. Yeah, there's something you've been trying to manifest for a very long time. It makes you feel young at heart. Um, it brings about joy for you. It's something that you should be inheriting even from a past life. You've already, somebody's trying to keep you out of a contract that's your actual soul contract. But you're seeing the truth now with these illusions. Ace of Swords is here. Five of Wands. So yeah, something here, it keeps escalating. The Five of Wands goes to the Ten of Wands. This is a group of people working very hard against you, trying to um, create all of these burdens for you. The Six of Pentacles here and the King of Wands. Hmm. Two of Cups here at the bottom of the deck and the Tower. With Seven of Wands, the World, Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. You're protected. Okay? You are protected. The Two of Cups is here. There's something here that is happening. This could be... Um, it's like really there's a contract that you have with someone... It's being shattered so that you can have a contract with the right person. You are heavily protected. The world card here, something is completely over. Your spiritual team is moving you on to peaceful, calm waters to receive this Ace of Pentacles. You have the King of Cups and the Three of Cups here. Yeah, someone here is taking action. Someone is taking action and they're, they're leaving some feminists behind. I don't know who this Queen of Pentacles and this Leo, who they are. They keep coming up in every reading. All right, um, Queen of Pentacles could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Strength card is Leo. They don't have to be those signs, but these are the signs that keep coming up. And here is the King of Cups. All right, so this could be a King of Cups involved with like a Virgo, a Leo, Capricorn, or whomever. This could be sisters. It could be a mother-daughter duo. Um, this could be, you know, a sister and a friend. These people are connected to a masculine somehow. This masculine, though, is choosing to fight to have wish fulfillment. All right. This person is trying to quickly make a decision or they already quickly made a decision to get out of a situation where they were being deceived. They were being tricked. OK, somebody was trying to trick this person out of entering into this contract by making an offer or this person was supposed to make an apology to someone. Yeah, someone has been heavily in the ear of a masculine. Now here we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Somebody has been telling this masculine most likely to turn their back on a particular person. 
here. Wow. Like I said, whatever this is though, it, it's pretty much, it's coming to a close. I'll be glad when this changes because the same storyline keeps coming out. So let's just be, you know, let's as a collective just try to be patient. Something here is going to switch and change. I, I really do hope that it's within at least the next eight days because this masculine who's been fighting for their life and this feminine, these two people either know each other or they don't, but they're going through a lot to try to get out of these karmic contracts. Two of Wands. So some of you may meet someone new or this is someone you already met. It was a faded connection. Yeah, Five of Swords. So the Two of Wands here and the Five of Swords. Someone here is taking action to leave something behind. That's the truth. Somebody here, like I said, this comes out every day. Five of Swords. Someone has been in some type of unhealthy situation. There could be children involved. It doesn't have to. But this King of Cups wants to move on to peaceful, calmer waters to be happy in a peaceful and harmonious situation with someone where they can have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. Someone wants to go towards a person that they know they can see themselves marrying and having children with. Like I said, having a peaceful, prosperous, happy, harmonious life. This person is currently in a situation, though, where they're dealing with someone that is really trying to make their life difficult. Could be because they have kids. Somebody here could be saying that they don't want to have children with a particular person and the other individual is trying to force. If somebody wants to force a person into some type of, um, I don't know, like another, another cycle, another contract, and they could be trying to have a child to do this. The Eight of Wands just fell. This is something moving quickly. I feel like somebody is trying to um, quickly get away from a Queen of Pentacles energy here. Two of Wands, you guys can meet someone traveling. Yeah, here's this Queen of Pentacles here and a Five of, so five of Swords. Hmm. You can meet you could definitely meet someone traveling or you may not be actually traveling for some of you. You could just be out. You could be thinking about traveling. You could just be in a different place. Wow, the king and the queen of pentacles just came out side by side here with the page of pentacles. All right. I feel like someone, too, is wanting to let go of a lot of disappointment. Someone could have been in a situation where it was this type of five of swords energy. There could be children involved. It doesn't have to be. But the five of swords, this is someone who's dealing with um, some type of toxic situation where perhaps they didn't really feel like they had a voice. There was no real compromise. There was no joy, no peace, no happiness or contentment. Someone here wants to quickly go into a connection where there's a king and queen of pentacles where two people are level headed. They're grounded. They can build a life together, you know, and somebody just wants peace. And I'm really picking more up on a masculine. Yeah, this person here is trying to move away from being in a situation dealing with the two of swords. They've been in a two of swords situation in a very unhappy connection with someone where there's been no forward movement. They're in this stalemate type of energy. No forward movement, no happiness, no joy. Okay, these two people may still share a home or be around each other, but they don't like one another. And it's, it's pretty obvious to other people. Someone here now is becoming very passionate about going out and meeting a person or you've already met this person. They now with the lover's card here in the Ace of Wands, they're choosing to move in a brand new direction to actually have, again, this passionate beginning. But there's burdens here, the Ten of Wands or someone is purposely trying to create burdens in this person's life. The world, this is coming to an end. Someone here has to just give up. They may have children with someone. I'm definitely picking up right now. This is someone who has children. All right, nine of wands. Someone here just feels very stressed out, overwhelmed. Yeah, because something is ending. This is um, a breakup or a divorce between two people who could have invested a lot. They have a family together, shared assets, liabilities, but someone really is ready to get out of this situation. The other person has known this for a long time and they're making it very difficult on whoever is trying to get out of this connection, this, this 
marriage, whatever this situation is, the world, the Ten of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Something in your life is for sure, it's it's being upgraded here. The Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess, all right? Some of you, your spiritual gifts, talents, and or abilities is making a way for you. The Six of Cups, some of you could have been like a High Priestess in a past life. I'm getting, um, yeah, for some of you, it's, it's just truly your birthright for you to be in this highly spiritual type of energy in a past life. You could have been a very well-traveled, like, high priest or high priestess. Those gifts are being activated now because you need them for the use of your protection. Here's the Six of Cups and the Three of Cups. Be very discerning because someone here, either you or a person that you're connecting with, they have an extremely toxic person that's trying to connect with them from the past. Here's the Nine of Wands, the Devil, the Eight of Cups. There's someone here who has already left someone behind or who has told someone that they're leaving them behind. This person is really doing a lot right now to hold on to this individual. So yes, be very discerning. Try not to speak too much about your finances, anything that brings about about security or stability for you because and and i don't know exactly what the dates are but there is a mercury retrograde coming up you guys i want you to try and make sure that you prepare for that in advance start really getting your your heart and your mind together now about what lessons you know you need to learn what um cycles you know you don't want to repeat okay because some of you, because now you are detaching from certain things from the past or the person that you're meant to be with is doing this work. There's someone from the past who's coming back with the vengeance. For some, this is a recent ex. There's other people here who have been broken up or even divorced from people for several months or years. Those individuals who carry this very narcissistic type of energy, they're trying to re-enter the lives of people who are moving forward. So be careful and also, you know, advise your person if someone is in your life to also be careful i think a lot of people really really need to try to protect themselves from these past energies that are really trying to come back they don't mean you well these are people who are extremely codependent and they just don't know how to move forward and i am picking up more of a karmic feminine energy here that could be a male or or female but there's someone here who is very just um caught up on the fact that they now have to move forward someone here was willing to stay unhappy for a very long time and they're being advised now to completely move away from a situation maybe even move out someone here may be relocating or changing their career someone could be looking for a job in a different place and they're going to actually relocate and i'm seeing a relocation that is across state lines this is leaving someone here with no choice but to Take care of their children, move on if children are involved, and to leave someone alone so that they can finally live their life. But someone here is really struggling with the idea of this. Someone has made a person their entire life. Now that that person doesn't want to be with them because that person has found out the truth, this person now, they're, <laughs> they're experiencing so much turmoil in their life because they're so extremely codependent. So we have here the Chariot and the Knight of Swords. So as I said, continue to move forward. Be very decisive right now in um, all when, when different options are being presented to you. Know exactly what you're getting into. Here's the, um, that's the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords and the Six of Swords. So like I said, somebody here, it doesn't matter if it's male or female. Someone here has quickly come to the decision. Okay, and, and it, it's a, a mind over matter type of situation that they're moving away from something, no matter what. Someone is very eager to have peace, to be able to rest, retreat, and to be at peace. Someone may just decide to go on like a vacation, but I see someone here that's ready for a serious business. Six of Pentacles. Someone wants to prepare themselves to have equal give and take. This could be you. Yeah, the four of cups here. Someone may have almost missed out on an opportunity with a divine feminine. Divine feminine right now is if you know that you've been manifesting an offer from someone, um, whether you know this person or you've never met them, you have a person that's going to enter your life for some of you who, like I said, they're getting out of some type of toxic tumultuous like situation with another person it's a situation that you probably can have empathy with them about because you've probably gone through something very similar spirit is saying though you don't want to get yourself involved continue moving forward 
you can't allow yourself to be stuck in the challenges and the adversity of this person. Continue moving forward, but you may find yourself in somewhat of like a, like I keep saying, a nesting type of energy where you know this is a season of preparation. So when it comes to the timeline, eventually eight weeks to eight months, for some of you, um, this is a time for you to, to become the absolute best version of yourself. Because somewhere here in, in this time frame, for many of you, there's a, a lot of significant changes that are going to happen. But with the Knight of Swords here, this is saying that you have to know what you want and you cannot allow yourself to, to be stopped or blocked. You're going to have to really, really be serious about going towards this brand new beginning. All right. This is you working on your health, your finances, your career, really just having those major upgrades in your life right now, because although you may not see what's coming, something is for sure coming. There's no other reason why you would be going through so much warfare right now if God wasn't about to bless you with something of great significance. So make sure that you are continuously just moving forward, moving forward, protecting yourself. All right. I feel like. You're being taught right now how to protect yourself and live a life as if. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you actually had this divine feminine or masculine in your life, do you know how to protect them? All right. Certain certain people, you will always face spiritual warfare. Four of Cups with the Empress here. The Four of Cups, yeah, it can speak of being discontent and bored, but Four of Cups can also speak about... um. Being certain, like I said, that you don't miss out on an opportunity. Don't be so caught up on one situation, whether it's something that's, you know, is too good or something that's not so good that you miss out on what God himself is actually presenting to you. Because something here is being manifested. Yeah, the, the um, page of swords is here. Yeah, and the emperor. So you're being seen by an emperor here who wants the everything with you. Whether you know them or not, energetically, you're being seen by an actual counterpart. Justice here. But first, justice must be served. There must be an end to a situation with a third-party energy. And to be honest, um, and, and I want to make this clear. I know in tarot, we oftentimes, we talk a lot about the toxic masculine and the, and the, the karmic um feminines or or masculines but you guys there's a lot of people who have already raised their vibration they don't resonate with karmic energy i have to be honest even myself reading the energy um i can't control what comes out and what i see but th this is not a lot of people's life i want you guys to really know that a lot of people are not dealing with all of this third party energy and the toxicity because they they've left these things behind you have to be willing to do the work to really leave these things behind. And I understand that sometimes things come into your life and, of course, it's, it's not perfect. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. But when a person is truly ready to embrace, you know, those high vibrational relationships, these third party energies and interferences, they must be eliminated. Some of you, you have a person who is not dealing with another person. And I want you to keep this in mind right now as well as in the future. Some of you are meeting men and women who are being constantly targeted and attacked from people that they've already left behind. So this is the why you must be very discerning because you, you may be led to think or believe that a person is still dealing with someone, but they're actually not. They're not dealing with them, but they have another person that is constantly trying to get into their energy. In your season of preparation, that's when you learn how to pray. And cover you and your person. Because this is spiritual warfare. Yeah, the death card with the justice card. These are endings for some people that still have... Um, legal contracts attached to it some people were actually married you know people when they're in long-term committed relationships whether there's children involved or not let's be honest they have shared assets and liabilities everyone here on this channel we're mature okay a person can leave someone behind and not have any feelings for them at all that doesn't change the fact that these people at some point 
they shared a car, they shared a home, they had children, okay? There are certain things here that are, are still tying people together. And this is why spirit is coming in, causing these endings, so that if there are things that are tying two people together who shouldn't be together, those things now are, are being snatched away. A lot of people feel like they're losing a lot right now. They're losing things that keep them tied into contractual agreements with people who are no longer for their greatest and highest good. All right. So, yeah, some people now they're losing houses, they're losing cars, they're losing jobs because those items or situations, it keeps them connected to a very karmic energy where then they're stuck at a stalemate and they can't make their way to you or this is you. You can't seem to make your way to new connections because you're still holding on to their job or, you know, for some people, they're still in the home with the person that they divorced that they put them through hell for 20 years some of you you really need a clean slate you need to change your environment you need to let go of all of the things that keep you attached to a certain chapter in your life that you do not want to relive and i know that can be difficult but this is a time to really push yourself to be the absolute best version of yourself heavy emphasis on relocation and and people moving out of homes Okay, some of you have had a lot of um, just time and, and energy shared in homes with a person with, I mean, it, it really was, it was just bad energy. And you may be wondering now, why is it that you, even with the person being gone, why do you still feel that it's a lot of doom and gloom? It's a lot of bad energy in that home. Everyone's not going to uproot their life and move, but even if not, get some spiritual practices going where you can start cleansing the energy in that space. Change the furniture around, okay? Get yourself, for some of you, especially those of you who have been in long-term committed relationships or marriages, get yourself a, a, a new mattress, a new bed. You need to up, you, you need to, to switch some things out. There has to be a change in the energy. For as long as I've been on this channel, I can always tell when there's a major energetic shift because I typically would change locations where I do my readings, which I did yesterday, just out of nowhere. It wasn't planned, and I typically will start changing out the decks that I use. Just It just naturally happens. Ace of Swords, there's clarity here. There's a major breakthrough that's about to happen so that you can have victory and success in your life. Here we have the Star, the Death card, and the Ten of Pentacles. So the queen of wands here, this is that, that other energy here that's holding on to someone trying to create these strongholds, but there's about to be a breakthrough. Someone is really going to have some new ideas and they're going to see exactly what they need to do to move towards actually healing, having more confidence, being more creative. That's the star card. Okay. Some people haven't had the confidence to, you know, start doing certain jobs or, or working in certain places or traveling someone is finally about to have a breakthrough this could be you and or someone that you're connecting with there's a major life change or transformation happening with the death card there's the death of some type of family situation for some some type of job situation this is like a 10 year cycle it's finally over some of you now, after these endings, you will be able to, Ten of Pentacles, build the life that you want that will lead to your actual legacy. There's a lot of windfalls of abundance coming in as well. You're going to have something that's a bit more traditional, but traditional as in it's, it's in alignment with your morals and values, what you want. But again, this Queen of Wands here for Pentacles, for some of you, like I said, this is someone here who is very confident Queen of Wands is naturally a very confident, assertive, goal-oriented, ambitious, powerful manifester of a person, whether male or female. That's fire energy. They get things done. But when this person wants to hold on to something or someone for pinnacles, they go very, very hard. Anyone that has a lot of fire energy, they can be very territorial. Okay? This person is very much driven by actions. It's, it's a fire energy. This person is, is going above and beyond to keep something, to hold on to it, to be very just stingy and possessive with something that God is saying, it that no longer is your portion, that no longer belongs to you. This person is not letting go. 
the two of swords here. Someone here wants to be, I'm telling you, somebody wants to be stuck at this, this uh, crossroads or they want you or someone you're supposed to connect with to be just stuck at a crossroads because of codependency. This Queen of Wands person does not want to move forward. This person has to face their own karmic judgment and they don't want to deal with that. This person here has is very addicted to power and control. This is a narcissistic karmic feminine here who ref who doesn't want to lose. Um, they're afraid of what they're going to look like. Okay, the Queen of Wands is here next to the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So this person will do anything that it takes to hold on to a masculine as long as they can have money. Okay, this person is attached to an idea, an illusion. Um, a, a fake facade of a lifestyle where they it looks like they have money and a happy family. This person is being forced right now to to face judgment for all of the karmic things that they've done. It's time for it, it's really time for these karmic energies to go through their actual awakenings. And the reason why they haven't been awakening is because for so long they have been carried by actual divine beings. That's why I say you have to start taking the devil off your prayer list. Some of these people, we, we've been serving as crutches for them because they've had the best narcissistic supply by feeding off of actual divine feminists and masculines. Everything is shifting now. They can't keep using the energy of someone divine for them to get by. No, they actually have to go out and do the work. If they want to maintain a certain lifestyle, they have to actually be able to show and prove that they can create it for themselves. What's happening is a lot of these people who have been in this really low vibing energy, they're being forced now to heal because the people that they've been, like I said, copying and living off of for so long, feeding off of as these energy vampires, those individuals are being forced to walk away. So they have to find a new host. These are parasitic lovers, family members, and friends, they have to find a new source of, of narcissistic supply. And the, the type of energy that we're shifting into now, it's not going to be that easy for them to find a new host. They're going to have to actually go through hell to actually heal so that they will be able to do anything in life. Some of you are walking away or you have a person that's walking away from this type of energy so that the two of you, three of cups, the higher thing can reunite. The Six of Cups is here, the Sun and the Four of Wands. This is something here that will, it's faded. The Six of Cups. There's a reconciliation here. This could be a, you reconciling with someone, you know, from a past life or someone from your past. And you don't necessarily have to be reconciling with someone from your past that you previously had a relationship with. This could be, so for some of you, you're going to realize that you and, and one of your, your closest friends have a spiritual assignment together. Some of you, you may not actually want to be in marriage with someone, but there's business partnerships. There's different things that's showing up for everyone. But the Six of Cups with the Four of Wands and the Sun, something here is a yes. The Six of Cups, for some of you, this isn't a past person. It's simply just, it's a very high level soulmate. The Six of Cups to me can be, it could be any type of divine partner, but you and this person, you definitely may share like a past life together. So it's a very intense connection. And it's someone that, like I said, you share the same beliefs about your morals, your values. So how you want to plan and, and build your life and your future it's in alignment. This is a vibrational match for you. You can be satisfied and happy with this person. Here's the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords with the Ten of Wands. All right. So the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, this is a completion. There's a completion of you being stuck in this imprisonment here, this mental imprisonment or trap. Feeling like you're trapped and, and isolated and restricted and unable to move forward. Someone has wanted you to be in some type of victim consciousness because you're dealing with a very narcissistic person or your person is dealing with this very narcissistic energy that is leading them to think that they should be in this victim consciousness. It's like the mere presence of another person is just weighing you or someone else down so much. 
because this is the kind of person they're always in some type of crisis they're always leading you to think that you're going to have bad luck or that you're going to be defeated by life this is a person who was stuck in their ego, very childish, immature, narcissistic. They don't know how to make a way for themselves and therefore they just project all of their issues onto other people constantly instead of creating solutions for themselves. This is called this is what's causing burdens for you. And for some of you, this isn't just lovers. Like I said, it's friends, it's family members, it's co-workers, people who are not truly trusting of God and they don't know how to go out and make a way out of no way instead they they feed off of other people constantly five of pentacles yeah somebody here um is is really having its situations and issues with with finances being left out in the cold constantly being worried and this is a, I feel for a lot of people, this is a, a feminine energy that is so terrified of, of what they're going to lose. This person does not want to feel left out in the cold. This is someone who has a lot of childhood wounds surrounding rejection and abandonment. And, and they're a sellout. They have a, a, a scarcity mindset. This person is the kind of person that the only way they can make it is if they are feeding off of, like I said, another person. They, they're always living off of someone else. This could be man or woman. Take it however, however it resonates. But this is someone here who has never actually built a life for themselves. They, they, they've piggybacked and rolled on the coattails of other people forever. They don't know any other way. This person does nothing but, you know, um, look for a divine feminine or divine masculine to carry them. It's like the jig is up. They can't do that anymore. Lovers. Yeah, somebody here is making a choice. Four of Swords. Someone here is making a choice to go towards true love and to actually heal. And that's leaving this person to their own devices. Someone here is choosing an actual divine feminine. So th for a lot of people, this is for sure. This is like a karmic feminine in the background who has refused to close out cycles and actually have their own stability and security. Here's your strength card, which of course, like I said, that Leo energy doesn't have to be, but here's the queen of wands here. This is someone here who wants to look like they are popular and they're, and they're so confident and, and powerful and they're sexy and you know, they're a manifest to know this person is a leech. <laughs> without the presence of this emperor or without the help of this masculine's family, friends or whatever, this person has nothing. This person knows that they, they have to go back to whatever life they had before they decided to feed off of this divine feminine or masculine. And this is happening for both. There's, there's karmic masculines that's doing this. They're getting the boot by these divine feminines that have carried them. And then you have a bunch of karmic feminines who are, you know, finally getting the boot from divine masculines who've been carrying them. It doesn't matter male or female. This is a battle of empaths versus narcissists. People of the light versus people of the dark. Users and abusers versus people who are self-sufficient and abundant. No, these people can no longer feed off of good, hardworking, God-fearing people. They, they can't do it anymore. It's, it's a wrap. They have to find their own passion. These are people, I'm telling you, they've been riding the coattails of people for as long as they can remember. Because somewhere in their life, they were wounded, with a, they were brokenhearted by situations in their life, their childhood, family, or whatever. They never, ever decided to go out and be self-sufficient, independent, or abundant. These are people who, have, some people have been in marriages for 20 plus years. They've never had their own place. They've never purchased anything by themselves. They know nothing at all about independence. This is a cycle of this is a cycle of codependency finally being broken. And for the chosen ones, the divine feminines and masculines who have always felt guilty for leaving these people behind, the sob stories don't work anymore. Because people are finally waking up to the fact that as long as you buy into the sob story of these narcissistic energy vampires you will never have anything in life these people are going to suck you dry 
And I feel like a lot of the collective is just tired of being stuck dry because you are a good source of love and light. Ace of Cups, so it's time for you now to have new love. Yeah. Queen of Swords. For some of you, you could be divine feminine. You could be in this Queen of Swords energy, the Four of Cups. It's time for you to stop being disappointed and hurt. It's time for you to stop allowing people who have nothing to offer to actually reject you. It's okay for you to reject offers. It's okay for you to see that rejection is protection. Nine of Wands is here. The Nine of Wands with the Seven of Swords. Okay? This is you being weak, weary, tired. It's an ongoing battle of you fighting for people who have nothing to offer you. Do not allow your love to keep making you, your love and your loyalty to make you a slave to situations that you know you don't need to be in or that you don't want to be in. The Queen of Pentacles is here. The Tower, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah. I think the King of Pentacles was out here, too. But some of you, you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy right now. Like the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. And you could be Water Sign, Fire Sign, Air Sign, any sign. It doesn't matter. But the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is grounded. You're down to earth. You're generous. You have a good business mind about yourself. Okay, there the tower is here. It's it's bringing sudden changes so that you can you can go into a life with the will of fortune, ten of cups, ace of wands, having victory and success. You can't keep taking this dead weight with you. So this is what's being cleared out. Finally, hold on. Let's see. Final messages. What is this? This is like dead weight. These narcissistic people, these people are lost souls, okay? <laughs> lost souls. They're, they're just walking around, like I said, hoping that they can attach themselves to some form of love and light to survive. Commitment. You have a commitment coming in. Friendship, commitments. A lot of commitments will be rooted in friendship. Okay, animals here in justice. You could be receiving a lot of messages from animals around you, so do pay attention to that. Okay. Justice. Some of you, for people who have been shape-shifting, and I feel like most narcissistic people, they're natural um, energetic shape-shifters because they're pretenders, they're fake. Okay, they, they show you one thing to gain whatever it is that they want, and then they remove that mask. A lot of you, you're receiving justice now because you've been in connections with people who were very, they were narcissistic shapeshifters. Justice is being served to you now so that you can have healthy, happy, peaceful, harmonious commitments, whether it's with friends or lovers. Finding. Yeah, you're finding out the truth about yourself and the people around you. You're finding your your space and place in in the world for sure. Yeah, new beginnings is here and compassion. You can be compassionate always. All right. But like I said, don't allow your love and loyalty to make you a slave. You need to have boundaries. Because like I said in the 4 a.m. reading that I posted a few hours ago, you can have compassion and offer a person forgiveness. That doesn't mean that they should have access to you. And that doesn't mean that they won't still receive karma. A lot of these people know the things that they've done to you. And now they're trying to get in your good grace because they're going to receive karma. God has already seen everything that they've done. So you can forgive them. But I will say you should still keep boundaries. And they will still have to face their karma. They can't get out of that. Stay optimistic. Rest. Break free. Okay. Like I said, try different things. Some of you, you may want to move things around in your house. You may want a new car. You may want a new house. You may want a new job. Just try new things. Try. It's... And I know that everyone doesn't have the means to move or to travel and do things like that. But you guys, you can do something as simple as if you go to Target in your area, drive 20 minutes to go to a different Target. 
It's simple things that will change your energy and will get you out of your environment. And you may notice that, hey, when I go to that Target over on the other side of town or when I do something a little bit different, in that time you will meet someone in a store. That may be someone that you start to work out with. It could be the love of your life. It could be someone who can teach you something about your spiritual path or journey. You can make connections and meet people, but just get out of your environment. Instead of working from home, go to a coffee shop. You know, if you're the type of person you always hang around a certain group of friends and family, limit that time. Find new people to hang out with. Or if you don't want to hang out with new people, find time to hang out with yourself. But some of you do need to come out of this hermit mode, out of this fear of having this paranoia and anxiety that every person you meet is going to be so bad. You, you, it's time for you to go into a season of meeting new people because you, it's time to replace the toxic people in your life. You're not meant to be alone. You just need to break free of the, the energy vampires that's surrounding you now. Morning affirmations. That's another small change. Start praying, affirming yourself each time you go out. Let your, yourself receive. So this is being in a more feminine energy. Empowerment. There's a lot of empowerment in being vulnerable and in being feminine, whether you're male or female. Feminine energy is simply saying that you're ready to receive. You're ready for other people to actually give you love without you being afraid of it or without you um, feeling like that person is going to betray you like everyone else did. That keeps you up in arms. And it blocks you from being a vibrational match for true love. You have to now be empowered enough to trust yourself when you go out and know that God has you. Archangel Michael is protecting you. What you've been through is not what you're always going to go through, but you do have to make certain changes to break free and get away from these things. Yeah, it's time for you now to make a wish. It's a magical time for you. Some of you, you really just need to change your, your daily habits and routines. You know, wake up earlier or maybe you want to have a more like a slow morning. Wake up later if you want to just find something to do. Because another thing that I'm picking up here is for some of you, you've had people or even spirits monitoring you for so long. They're so aware of your every move that it's so easy for them to attack you. Some of you, it, it, every time you get good news or bad news, you're sharing it with the person. Close your mouth. Stop telling people all your business. Stop going to the same places. The devil watches and monitors you 24-7. And once the devil learns you, and it, it, the devil is then able to seduce you or send his agents to seduce you. You have to change things up. That's what I'm saying for some of you. If you find that, you know, you're constantly meeting these weird people, start going to different locations. These are small but effective changes that you can make in your own life. I think that's it. I mean, there's not much more to say. I don't feel. Um, let's see. Confidence is your key to success. The answers that you need are coming. Leo and Gemini energy could be significant. Like I said, some people here don't realize that they're dealing with narcissistic shapeshifters. Leo, Gemini, that Leo um, doesn't have to be Leo. Please don't feel like I'm just calling out just Leo. But people who carry the energy like it, Leos are known to be stars. They're known to be ambitious and assertive and, and have this bigger than life personality. Those, are all, those can be people who have a very inflated type of ego. Underneath their facade of being happy and you know, so charismatic, they're broken, wounded, and very insecure on the inside. That's that Gemini type of energy. Okay? They show you one one face and, and they it's an, it's another face. It's another head with a totally different mindset that they don't show you. So be mindful of people around you who you feel like they have it all together and they don't. There's a, a strong, strong energy in the collective of a lot of illusions here. Where people are going to present themselves to you like their goal. You, you, you have to recognize glitter from gold. 
Because a lot of people are going to make it seem like they, they're going to provide you with these golden opportunities and they're so amazing. This is because these people have been sent in by the devil because the devil has watched you and knows exactly how to send somebody in to seduce your mind to get, you know, because he understands what you what you desire. So you have to look beneath the surface. Yeah, your commitment is being tested, but a personal issue is reaching a resolution. There's two cards of cancer here. You and your loved ones are safe. A personal issue reaches resolution. This is full moon in cancer and new moon in cancer. I don't know when there's going to be a full moon in cancer, but the new moon in cancer is going to be uh, sometime in like June, I guess. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a cancer, but cancer also has a lot to do with the home. Okay, so like I said, there's, for some of you, there's definitely changes you need to make in the home. And then here we have a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. And luck is on your side. So again, I said between now and maybe the next eight months, there's a lot of changes that will be happening. Libra season will come about in what, like September? Wait a minute. So, yeah, between now and the rest of the year, because we're in March going into April, Libra season, you know, this like October, Sagittarius season is late November, December-ish. Some of you right now, get your home together with this cancer energy. Get your homes together, all right? Some of you need to separate yourself from family. Some of you, you need to rekindle relationships with family, but really prioritize, especially your immediate family and your home life. Because I feel like God is trying to prepare you to have some new blessing to enter your home. For some of you, it could be a new child, a, a new you know lover, or whatever it is. But new moon in Sagittarius, full moon in Libra. So Libra season, Sagittarius, Sagittarius season, Cancer. Positive changes are coming. Full moon in Sagittarius. So we have... Sagittarius here, two two Sag cards and two Cancer cards. A win-win outcome is forecast. You're very close to achieving your goal. It's time to take action. Emotions are running high. A new start is coming. Bring love into this situation. Some of you could be a Cancer or a Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Sagittarius. Take it however it resonates. Or these seasons could be of significance but Sagittarius definitely speaks a lot about luck cancer to me speaks a lot about illusions things being hidden secrets the home life the mother okay so there could be some secrets being revealed about certain things in homes and families but again th this is all necessary for you to bring more luck peace joy prosperity and abundance into your life you need to know the whole truth some of you are needing to find out more truth about you know your your mothers or mother figures or parents in your life yeah your commitment is being tested and it just says surrender to the divine and confidence is your key to success step out of your comfort zone you have to step into the north node all right The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Bring love into this situation. Yeah. So saying for someone here, it, it's time to, you know, let go of being angry and upset. Yeah, look at this. Keep your heart open. Libra energy. And believe in your good luck, Sagittarius. There's something here with um, Libra Sagittarius energy. Heavy. Libra Sagittarius Cancer. Those signs are really about to be, something is about to happen. I don't know if this is some kind of um, astrological shift change or transit. For the people who are into astrology, you would know. But something significant about um, cancer or, like I said, this could just have to do with people having different revelations about certain things. With cancer, making changes to the home nesting and preparing for a lot of good luck so i guess this has something to do maybe with like jupiter someone here is a, is about to experience a lot of good luck 
uh, it seems like Jupiter is bringing gifts to people's home life. Home life and family. A, a change is coming with your stability and security. This is a gift coming, uh, something with Jupiter. And, and Sagittarius, it's, it's, it's like a lot of luck. So you may just like hit the lottery or, you know, your financial situation, living situation, it may just drastically change. But you have to align yourself with these opportunities. Okay, so I love you guys all so much. I really hope that this resonated with you, gave you a little bit of not just truth and clarity, but encouragement. I know it has been very difficult for us all, but there is change coming. I just hope that you guys are being proactive in making the necessary changes, the, the shift in the energy, the, the reading, the, the information. That's not enough. You, you have to, you guys move, shift some things around, meet some new people. Okay, let's try to shake off this doom and gloom. You're always going to be attacked. You can't change the things that people are doing in the background. You can only control yourself. I say all the time, when you learn how to control yourself, you can control anything and everything around you because you know how to stay grounded. Okay, 